Hi everyone, it's Jerry. I am on leechess.org and I'm going to play a quick five minute game. No increment on this one. So let's see what we get. First time playing against this opponent, Alban JP. So let's see what we get here. Let's make sure we get in D4. B4. It's not possible. All right, I'm going to drop the knight back and see if they choose to give up the strong bishop to damage my structure. I don't want to play e3 to support the pawn because I have this in mind. I want to put my pawn on e4. So Maroxy bind and grip over d5. I want to control these two pawn breaks if possible. And now that square. Let's see if we could maybe control c6 with a pawn one day. And then uh, have a light square bishop exchange. Put a piece here. How do we do all of this? Let's start with queen d2. So this uh, controlling c6. I anticipate that when I drop my knight into d5 it'll be captured. So I'll have a pawn around controlling this square. And I'm prepared to meet that move with this securing here and also my bishop. Rook c8, b3. I guess this is also a possibility. b3 is solid. Where's this knight headed? I'm not sure. Let's start with this. Last piece in the ball game. You know, it's right around this point the queen kind of struggles some. Ooh, that's a really big weakness. Okay, it's aimed at controlling, uh, it's aimed at controlling or maintaining the knight on c5. But it certainly weakens these squares, these two, so I could look to target them. Yeah, I'm just going to jump right in. Why not? And maybe I make another push. Yeah, let's do this. Just getting out of the line of fire. I have this square under control. Be a little bit careful. This is where the black pieces intersect in my position. Yeah, but I, I thought that this would have been a good idea. Nice follow-up. What am I missing? And now A3? I think A3... Hmm. Maybe not. A3, rook c8. Then I have uh, some concern about this move, and my knight has to go here. Tell you what, I'm going to go here. It's, it feels a little bit awkward, but I, I like having my rook play cc4 directly. And uh, maybe, maybe he jumps into this square. He's not the greatest piece. And in fact, why not follow up with this, and then uh, I wouldn't even need a3 at that point. Okay, but I do have to be a little bit careful. In fact, uh, I should probably be considering f4 here, no? f4, there's only knight here. Hmm. Here's a plan, maybe. You know what, I'm just going to go for a dark square bishop exchange. This is my better bishop, but there's still a lot of pieces on board. And if I could get rid of this key defender... Okay, forget about that. <laughs> if only I could get rid of that guy. He's not going anywhere. Okay. Well, here's here's the nice thing. It's that without my bishop here, if ever this, I could drop back to a nice square. Okay, so... This, this really feels like the right way to do it. Just opening up the bishop's eye some, my rook... Now, Black avoided the dark square bishop exchange, but has to be on the lookout for back rank mates at some stage. We still are working with all major pieces. So I wouldn't be surprised if at some stage Black says, you know what, okay, I'm fearing for my king's life. Let's trade bishops. And so now I think I am going to go in for this, 
this idea that I had some time ago, which is to plant a piece on that C6 square. And I believe I will be getting a passed pawn now. And it's going to be connected. And I'm threatening mate, by the way. Say with the pawn. And then super glue this guy right in there. And there we go. Knight is under control with the bishop. This structure basically kills both major pieces. And now I'm ready to win the knight. F4, game over. This is the game over move. Yeah, there's nothing, nothing doing here. He's out of squares. Yeah, they resign. Okay, GG. Um, yeah, I basically just wanted to uh, do a quick game for, well, a couple of reasons. One, it's been a while since I uploaded a five-minute Blitz game. And uh, if you caught my previous video... Uh, the, the pinned comment to my previous video. I'm working on a different audio setup, so it's a mini, a mini audio test as well. So let's just dive in here and see if we can maybe take a thing or two away from this quick game. Let me go ahead and hit the computer analysis, see what it has to say. So... Just going through here, let's give it a second. See where we stand with the inaccuracies, mistakes, and blunders. Shouldn't take more than 30 seconds. Okay, well, while it's thinking, let's go through the opening a little bit. What do we have here? What are they calling it? Sicilian, in Sicilian Invitation. Ooh, I had no idea. Okay, there's the fancy graph. Inaccuracies, mistakes, and blunders for each. Let's see. Bishop g7. I'm just going to flick on the uh, evaluation straight away. Yeah. Top suggestion. That's a scary thing to do, though. I didn't want to do this because of knight f6. And then let's just say bishop e2. There's d5. So I wanted to squeeze a little bit more out of my e-pawn. So that's why I just went back to c2. And then got this formation. I was basically able to express everything I wanted to in this game. It's difficult for black, you know, playing without... Uh, well, I have some space. Black is playing with all minor pieces still. And at a certain point, these... You know, developing moves run out, and it's kind of like, well, how do you improve further? And black finds it more difficult to improve further than white. Much easier for me to maneuver. So, any... I don't know, it just seems like it's a growing advantage here. Right? I think it's a, an evaluation that we could trust. So maybe... Yeah, this this is really... I don't know. It's a very weakening move. Eventually both my knights ended up on these nice squares in uh, in Black's house. And Black really wasn't able to establish any peace in my position, so... I mean, I, I'm thinking the improvement has to be somewhere right around here. So instead of b6, I think Black has to be prepared to knock out the knight once he arrives on d6, and this this really turns out to be an issue. The recapture, and to have a pawn control a hole in your opponent's position, and to be so deep there on c6, turns out to be a problem. So the suggestion is bishop e6 and knight to d7. Let's just have a look at knight d7, see a few moves, how it's playing out. <laughs> the computer's always going to recommend this. Scary. This seems more human. This little reposition... Unmasking the bishop and putting the knight on c5. And it's even considering going to e6 next. Let's just say I went with f3. Oh, now f5. Okay. This just gives at least a little bit of a, a different feel for how black can approach this position. And it starts with unmasking the bishop. Well, really two things. Unmasking the bishop and later 
we're seeing a suggestion of playing f5. So this would this at least allows black some type of active plan. Whereas, you know, these moves over here, once once a5 is in, you can forget about the b5 pawn break, and I just have so many pieces on d5 that the d5 break is out of, you know, that's not working either. Yeah, so this little reposition combined with then f5 is a way to uh, you know, approach this in a more active way for black. But as this one played out, it's just a slow improving position, and uh, I enjoy a space advantage. Yeah, it's just uh, growing from here. Does it like knight to a3? It likes knight to a3. One of my concerns at this point was what? Um, oh, if I played a if I played a3 here. Uh, my concern was rook c8 with then e6 next. Hmm. Knight d4 and e6. Knight here, I'm dropping c4. Chop, 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 and... Oh, okay, so I could drop a pawn, but in the end, have something good happening on d6. Okay. Um, I just didn't even want to enter a position where I... Uh, dropped upon. Just hold everything together. I could play f4 here, but went with this. Just wanted to play within the structure. Many approaches at this stage, and a knight arriving on c6 is just a killer. And in the end, he ends up getting trapped at this stage. Okay, well, as mentioned, just a quick video. It's been a while for a blitz game. As usual, feel free to leave any feedback to this one in the comment section below. Hope you're having a great day, and I will catch you in the next video. That's all for now. Take care. Bye.